Hello everybody, welcome to Crossplay Gaming. My name is Eric, and today I'm going to put together a little Doom mod tutorial for those of you who are interested in playing the 90s Doom games with mods on them. So hopefully you'll join me and this video is helpful. So all the downloads that are necessary for what I'm going to show you are going to be available in the description. So we're going to jump over to my desktop and I'll start showing you what you're going to need. Alrighty, so let's open up the browser. We're going to start over here with uh, the ZDoom website. And this is where you're going to get your source port. This is how you're going to get Doom running smoothly on modern operating systems. And this will also allow you to add the mods to it and things like that. So we're going to download GZ Doom which uh, is very popular. There's a few other source ports you can choose from, like Xandronum, and uh, I think there's some others, but I prefer GZ Doom myself. It has a lot of flexibility. So uh, you can go ahead and download whichever one would be appropriate for you. And then after we have that downloaded and put into an appropriate folder, we're going to download ZDL. Now, there is a way to stack files together in order to get mods working, but ZDL is a nice little system you can use. We're gonna jump over to that download link over here. This is a program you can use that makes it a lot easier to put different files and different mods together. So I would recommend downloading the 3-1.1 version right here. That's what I'm going to be using. So again, the link to this is in the description. Take a look at that, download that, and put it into the folder of your choice. Put it on your desktop, whatever. Okay, so up next here, I'm going to show you some ZDL. This is the program that will compile our source port and our mods together. So over on the right here, you'll see the wads that I have loaded up already. And then over on the left side over here, this is where we're going to put our mods. But in order to get started, we're going to have to go to the general settings. Um, I already have it done, but I can show you how to do it. This is, how, this is where you're going to put your source port. So you're going to hit the plus button down here. And so you'll go to whatever file that you put GZ Doom. Go into that file and click on the GZ Doom file right here and hit open. And well, I loaded it twice, but that's, that's how you're going to get it in there. And so we'll just take that one back out. But that's how you get your source port loaded and that's how we're going to run the game. And then um, over on the right here, we have all of our different wads. So the way that you access these is if you have a Doom game loaded into Steam, you're gonna to go to whatever hard drive you have your Steam library loaded into. So Right now I have a majority of my games on my E drive, so I'm gonna go there and hit games and go to Steam apps and go to common. And then we're gonna scroll down to Doom 2, for instance. This is this is generally the WAD that you're going to see a lot of mods built on. And so go to the base folder and then right here where it says Doom 2, that is the WAD file. And so you're gonna hit that and then hit open, and that's gonna bring it into here. So right here is the Doom 2 WAD file. And I did that also with the Ultimate Doom, which is the first Doom game. I did it with Plutonia, TNT, and I also did it with Heretic. So you can actually do Heretic mods because that's built with the same engine. So that can be fun. But today we're gonna to be focusing in on Doom 2. And so we have our WADs loaded and we have our source port loaded. So we're all set with the general settings. So let's go back to launch configuration. We're going to select Doom 2, and today we're going to do Project Brutality. So, again, you're going to go over here to the plus button in the launch configuration settings, and we're going to go to my C drive, because that's where I have my Doom mod folder located, and we're going to go to my mods. This is where I put the Project Brutality zip file right here. I'll show you where I got that in my browser. So... We, uh, we downloaded GZ Doom, we downloaded ZDL, and if you look in the description, I have the link to where the latest version of Project Brutality can be found. You can basically access this through the Project Brutality subreddit, which is not hard to find, but I'm like linking you directly to it. And so if you go over here and hit code and hit download zip, you will get the master zip file for Project Brutality. And so here we are. I'm going to hit Project Brutality Master and open that up. And now that is the first mod that we have loaded. And then we're going to add another one. And so I also have a music pack. However, I believe Project Brutality has its own 
uh, modernized music for the game, so we don't need to add that. But we're also going to add a map pack. And what I've been messing around with lately is the Hell on Earth starter pack. There's also Doom 2 Reloaded I've been messing around with. There's all kinds of map packs out there that you can use. Maps of Chaos is a very popular map pack. But uh, right now I would recommend Hell on Earth starter pack. I've been trying that out. I streamed it recently. And so over here in the browser, you can see right here at the mod database website, we have the uh, Brutal Doom Hell on Earth starter pack, and you can download that right there. And you're going to put that in whatever file that you choose, and then you'll access that file in ZDL and select it. And so now we have Project Brutality. We also have a map pack. And so one other thing I found is a high-resolution texture pack. and the link to that will also be in the description that's right over here in the WAD archive. So it's basically the ZDoom DHTP texture pack, and this top link right here will download that. And so I'd recommend that. It looks pretty good. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look like it's entirely complete, but it does complement the Brut Project Brutality mod pretty well, as well as the map pack. So again, if you want to take a look at it, you can see the recent live stream that I did, but that's the one I was using. And so you're, again, you're going to put that where you want it, access it here, and it's going to be this bottom one. And so there's three mods we have downloaded, and we have them put into ZDL. And then after that, once you have the proper WAD selected, all these loaded, you're going to hit launch. All right, so here it comes. Bingo. And like I said, there's already some modern music here. I actually did a live stream with my uh, modern music pack put into ZDL, but then I realized just now, as I was making this video, that this Project Brutality mod already has its own music update. And so you can go ahead and hit New Game. This uh, particular map pack has these episodes in it, so you can check out, for instance, Hell on Mars. And here we go. There we go. Yeah, the great thing about this particular Project Brutality mod is that it has double jump like Doom Eternal does. It also has dash, which is cool. And so yeah, you can see some of the high resolution textures here. We can actually shoot that. There we go. So inside of GZ Doom, you're going to have all kinds of options here. So you can customize a lot of controls, you can do a lot of display settings, you can make things look more retro and pixelated, and uh, it works. It works really well. So again, I'd recommend GZ Doom, but there's uh, multiple source ports out there which are really good. But there you go. So anyways, that's how I tend to do my mods and how I get them get them running so hopefully that was helpful to you hopefully the links are helpful but again if you go like to the mod database and to different websites you can find all kinds of different mods and things that you can add so like a couple other channels that check these out all the time are uh, Icarus Lives he does a lot of great mods someone else has been doing uh, some different Doom mods lately has been um, Big Mac Davis so he did like the Golden Souls there's even things like a full-on Sonic game that's been made in 3D out of the uh, Doom engine in the GZ Doom source port makes it run really well. So feel free to check any of those out. You can find them all over the internet. So again, hopefully this video was helpful. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself and got some help out of this. If there's uh, something I was really unclear about and you could use some help with, maybe I can answer your questions in the description. So feel free to leave a comment or just uh, tell me whether or not you like the video down there. So again, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see some more, and we'll see you next time.